Greetings everyone and welcome back to Terraria, where last time we made uh, quite a lot of progress and got this new sweet uh, suit of armor and uh, we finally defeated our last uh, mechanical boss, Twins. So that was pretty cool. Now this time around uh, we'll pretty much just uh, keep following the challenges. I'm pretty sure I can just uh, do this one immediately. Before I do it, do I need to empty my inventory? I think I should be fine. Probably drop off some of the... For example, this death weed, the gel, these arrows. Just make some space, you know. This should be good. I'll drop off these as well. Won't be needing them for now. Anyway, let's uh, head over to Randall's. And make uh, the new pickaxe. Because that's pretty much what the mission is. You either need to make the pickaxe axe. Or the tracks. So. This just use hollow ingots if I remember rightly. Or like. Uh, not hollow. Was it hollow hollow? Yeah, hollow I think. So either the tracks or the pickaxe axe. I think this uh, sounds better. 200 pickaxe power. And we also got a bunch of axe power, so we can... No, I still cannot get rid of this, because I don't have a hammer. Well, that's... Uh, that's fine, I suppose. Okay. So, we need one soul of each, and some hollow bars. Pretty... Pretty decent, so... Let's get that. And there we go. Mission complete. Let's put this here. And this very calcum pickaxe finally be retired. So let's put it here, I suppose. Clear up some space. This flying knife, honestly, I'm not really using it, so I'll get rid of it as well. Just taking up space. Anything else that I need to get rid of? Not really. I guess I can get rid of the top hat since I like the way my armor looks. The bug net I'll keep. Just so I can get some bait while I'm moving around. Eventually I want to do something with fishing, but let's see how that goes. Need to reapply my buffs real quick. There we go, some of my daggers. Hey, look at this. Anything gets near me now, they're getting sliced up. Okay, so what uh, is the next mission? We got uh, photosynthesis, mine glorified. An organic ore found deep among the thickest of flora. So that's pretty much the jungle. We did find some of it. I don't remember exactly where that was. It was probably somewhere in the deep here. That we found was the green ore. And I wasn't able to mine it, so... Yeah, there we go. Glorified. This one is kind of deep in the lava though. Not ideal. I'm sure I found some that wasn't buried in lava. I'm not entirely sure where it was though, so... You see a bunch for the calcum. I guess I can do a little bit of uh, jungle exploration. It'll be fine. Now, one thing that's not very fine is that uh, since I have this new suit of armor, I have lost a very large amount of defense. I should be careful, even though I do a lot more damage. Where is my old armor? Where did I leave it? Every Calcum one, there we go. They're pretty much... what is it? So this is 23, 19 more, we're like 16 defense down. So that's quite significant. So what I was thinking is maybe I can just keep uh, an iron skin potion on me. At all times. I mostly have all the ingredients for them. Uh, however, let me just check. It's like a day bloom, a nor, and what else? Iron skin. There we go. Oh, it's just a day bloom and leather. Okay, so I can probably make a bunch of those. I got uh, quite a few day blooms with my new planter setup, so. That should be pretty good. There we go, day blooms. And I just need some lead ore. I don't remember where exactly I put it. 
think I used Dyron last time. Yeah, there we go. Put the iron in here, so let's craft a bunch of the iron skin potions. There we are. Make a bunch of those. And thankfully, this helped out a lot by giving us multiple. So that should alleviate the need for defense a little bit. Uh, but we'll still be more squishy. So we gotta be careful. But anyway. I think we're just about ready to head to the jungle. Yeah, okay, I don't think I need to do anything else. Uh, actually, let's see. Use this. And store our money. There we go. So if I understand this correctly, well, I can just use this anywhere. And it's a... Uh... Yeah, there we go, it keeps the money, so... Good. Also, I'm losing the set bonus from the Rikalka Marmot, so I don't have the flying petals now for the extra damage, but you can see the daggers are doing a pretty good job, so I'm quite happy with it. I think I'm going to switch to my bow being a primary weapon now, along with the summons. I just stay more ranged, try and avoid uh, get near anyone purely because of this uh, lack of defense not sure when exactly i should use my potion let's equip it i suppose there we go just to have it uh, ready to use also I should be able to find some sort of health upgrades in the jungle. The guide was uh, telling me about some fruit. Not entirely sure where to look for that. But oh, that thing dropped gold. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Well, look how nice this is. Just walk around. The daggers destroy everything. We have some. I mean, it's turtles. They hurt a lot uh, before as well. Yeah, for some reason, there's a ton of them. Yeah, it's kinda nasty with the lower armor. So, in theory, I've been able to do a better summoning set, but I don't think I have the resources for that yet. Also, I should probably make uh, some new weapons. I think about it with the boss souls, but we can look into that uh, when I get back. I suppose. All right, there we go. This is our jungle entrance. Just try not to die from all the mobs here. It's a bit of a hard mission, but my region seems decent. Don't remember, did I have anything else that boosted region other than this before? Was I getting some boost from the Urihal tomorrow? I don't think so. Maybe I'm just forgetting it. It was the Palladium armor that was giving the extra region. Okay, there we go. The mango is just getting down. Nice. Close. Get right. To be more safe. We avoid the granite biome. Like, uh, there's quite a few nasty things there. Oh well, I guess I get torn on this side, so. You win some, you lose some. Okay. This should be pretty good depth. I have to look around. Oh, you know what? Got Palenka potions on me. Yeah, there we go. Got some of the ore. There's actually quite a lot of it. It's just in the walls. Alright. Let's do a little bit of mining. Stop, oh, stop it. Yeah, I'm taking quite a lot of damage, not gonna lie. So, there we go. Lord of Hightower. 
Isn't that nice? So what uh, mission do we have next? Consume a life fruit which grows in the thick of subterranean jungle grass. Okay. So we get an answer to this. This underground. Let me get all of this. Let me just turn on the smart cursor. That's probably smart. Thankfully, the Spelunker potion allows me to see everything. I will actually pop an iron skin just to be safe. Uh, I mean, that's a normal life crystal, right? Special there. So, stick in some bubbles. Okay. Suppose we can get this one. Okay. Very nice. Seems like it's not that rare, it's just in the walls. As long as I have... Oh, this one. As long as I have uh, spelunking potions, it'll be no problem. Okay, let's uh, get this and try not to drown. It'll be fine. Very nice. Now, chest over there. Get some more stuff here. Not entirely sure what this is. Oh yeah, that's the chest. Oh, now I can open it. Yes. Shark bait flippers. Not drown. I suppose we can go down a bit more. Something that are D wing. It's a material. I'll probably make D wings with it. I will see. It is once in the wall. There we go. Let's him take care of it. It seems like small veins inside walls. That's how this thing likes to generate. I gotta keep some spelling potions on me. If I want to mine it. Oh, draining some sort of water reservoir on me. Okay, so I cannot really go down from here. Oh, can I open this chest? Sure can. Maybe I was able to open it before. So I remember I wasn't able to open some sort of chest. Maybe it wasn't this one. What is this? Seems like food, perhaps. It's a funeral torch. Oh, it was probably a barrel. Never mind then. The search for the fruit continues. Okay. Very nice. And I actually turned from where I came to kill these things. Oh, we got the mini. Depth magic dagger. Okay, not too bad. Probably not as good as the dagger I had from the boss. Probably not gonna use it, but uh, maybe we can sell it. What is this? Oh, it's just diamonds. Alright. That's fine by me. The linking potion run out. Let's redo this. And go over to the right. This is the best way. Right, I'm loving these daggers. Will it the traveling merchant is right? Fortunately, I have no intention of coming back right now. I mean, these traveling merchants uh, seem to only be selling vanity items. So. God, I'm missing much. 
There we go. Get this stuff. Or they can just mine to the right. And stop it. Interesting. Things change here. The, the background. Not sure what the reason is. But maybe we can find something different here. I don't know. Maybe all this chlorophyte. I'm not sure if I can make armor out of it. I think I'm able to. Oh. There's some water here. Let's uh, go down this way, I suppose. So my main thing is uh, this general flu. I'm not really sure what it looks like though. So, I mean, I assume it will get highlighted by the spelling potion, since even like barrels and stuff, it's not just ours that are getting highlighted. So maybe it will get highlighted by the potion. But Oh, there we go. That's probably it. Looks like a heart. Let's get it. Mind this. Yeah, life root. That should be it. Away the stone, I suppose. Permanently increase maximum life by 5. There we go. Very nice. Get a life. We're destroying these achievements. The Great Southern Plant Kill. Defeat Plantera, the overgrown monstrosity of the jungle's depths. Okay. Yeah, I think someone in the comments was mentioning this. We need to find some sort of thing in the jungle underground that only starts spawning after I defeat the mechanical bosses. So what they said is that I have to wait a bit until they start spawning. So probably not active yet. But uh, from what I got, it's basically like the Eater of Worlds. Uh, we can break some stuff on the ground and it spawns the, the plant. What kind of biome is this? Kind of weird, the one on top. Maybe it's just the glowing plant. Yeah. I'm check it out. It's pickaxe though, it's uh, quite fast. Definitely a nice thing to have. Okay. There's a bunch of mobs up there. Let's just open it up and let our daggers loose. Oh, that's uh, perfect. And they cannot uh, get near me. Daggers will just destroy everything. Very nice, very nice. That was a lot of gold. Almost 20 gold. Okay. Good daggers. I'm assuming that was the mini. Maybe it uh, just didn't drop anything else. So. Just got a bunch of gold. We got another chest there. Oh. It's the corner. Wait. Plantera has a wall. Uh. Okay. I don't see. Oh. There it is. That's probably it. Okay. So, I wasn't expecting this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not exactly ready. For a boss fight. Uh, okay. okay. This thing deals a lot of damage. I mean, so far it's not going terribly bad. It's not going well though. Uh, yeah, I mean, I probably should have assumed. Yeah, I kinda can't do around through him. Is almost a full round, but kind of there. Get me out! Get me out! Come on! Make potion! There we go. Yeah, I just don't have a, a way of running out of it. Set up properly. Yeah, I'm dead. Well, at least uh, now I know uh, what the boss looks like. It's not this pony. Wait. Why is it not spawned? Is that like uh, different from the other ones? Oh, there we go. Now it despawned. Okay, well. Gotta go back and get my money. Might as well empty my inventory while I'm at it. There we go. So let's head back. Uh, make sure everything is safe because I had a lot of money on me. 
We have the stuff of Rigor of Harvest these things. A money eater kite. A vine. That's the same. Should probably leave th those things behind. I don't think my coins will despawn. So I have enough time to properly empty out my inventory. Oh, I also need to get my boost back since I died. Okay, so I guess I need to clear out... Mm, it's, it's weird because I cannot choose my boss arena. I basically have to find the plant and build an arena there. So... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to go about it. Let's drop this a geode. Make drop valuable shinies when smashed. Uh, the tattered B wing, jungle torches. They'll keep the ore on me, since I expect we'll get more of it. And let's head over to the jungle. So I guess the new health upgrades are not as strong, but I mean still. Uh, what what would that be like? 100 more HP? Uh, when I max it out, assuming I can turn all of these cards into yellow ones. To me, it doesn't sound too bad. I'm not sure if the plant has a second phase. I'm gonna assume it does. I'm not sure, right? How do I go about it? Maybe I can just uh, dig a tunnel to the surface, just spawn it and run up to the surface. It seems like one way to do it. I'm not sure if it will stay active though. Might just despawn if I do that. I suppose it's worth trying. Just fighting this thing underground seems like a bad idea. I mean, granted, we got uh, very bad conditions. Right? Oh, I have some of my daggers. Let's take care of the guys. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, maybe there is a the first summoning set you can make with the lot of fight. Though to be honest, I really like the way this one looks. This whole halo behind me. Yeah. Oh we got another mimic. You have any gold for me? Go. Oh, he does indeed. 16 gold. Brisk Philosopher's Stone. Okay. Wonder if I can stack those. Uh, the, oh, the Blood Moon is rising, really. Exactly what I needed. Let's just make our way down. And pop potion just in case. So I'm not sure what to expect with this Blood Moon. Yeah, the confusion on my maze helps a lot with the turtles. Okay, there we go. I think I should be able to... Right. It's about time that I pop my iron skin. i pop a spell into the potion as well. So, where exactly did I die? I mean, I suppose it is marked on my map. as well. Not sure how much I need, but I'm just gonna get all of it. Okay, now I'm going to put the left. There we go. And I recovered my money. Okay, nice. Nothing crazy in this chest. Oh that's actually a ton of power of fight here. Let's get all of it. 
Very nice, very nice. I would like to find some more of these hard fruits though. Some HP definitely seems like something else though. Wonder if there are better health potions now. Or if the ones uh, I'm using are the best ones. I mean they use pixie dust so I assume they are the best ones but... Can't be sure. Okay, let's open this up. So I can get this chest. Okay, I've already gotten this chest. Head back down. Let's start off here. I'm to be sneaky. We've got a bunch of those turtle shells and not doing anything with. Which way? I suppose we can go down here. Yeah, we got a bunch of more uh, bunch more chlorophyte here. How am I looking on time by the way? Okay. Should be looking uh, attending the episode soon. I guess uh, I can just take all of this chlorophyte back to the base so that I can make with it. And then in that way. Uh, before I get myself killed again by some random plant. What is this? Oh, again. Some options of chlorophyte. Weird. I'm not seeing any one part plants though. What is this? Sky blue flower. Okay, let's go this way. Got a spider. Those guys are actually real nasty. Just let the let the knife take care of it before I open it up. Go so get rid of this. And I think. Oh, there we go. We got uh, another spawner for the thing. Anyway, let's head back home. And see. Oh, it's a blood moon. I forgot about this. Let me quickly go away from my house. So, I don't have to protect people. Okay, let's get over here at the boss platform. I mean, to be honest, with my dagger setup, I assume I can just stay. And the daggers will dismantle everything. So, I think what I'm gonna do is cut, wait until the end of the blood wound. And then we can check out what this chlorophyte is capable of, right? See you then. Alrighty then, the blood moon is over. And since I did not move this entire time, we've got a lot of loot to collect. Alright, let's get all of this. How much money exactly we've made? These mobs. Okay, nice. For this. Okay. 10 gold, not bad. 11. Can we get 12? We can. Okay, 12 and a half gold, not bad. So I got uh, some items. And I got some on the ground as well, but. I don't really care about them that much. I got some sort of a cloak, I'm trying to find it. Oh no, it was a clock, not a cloak. Okay, never mind then. And let's head back and uh, check out this uh, low fight stuff. Actually, let's use this. Get back faster. Okay. Just store some of this stuff so I have space. There we go, very nice. Alright, so I assume it's over here that we. Oh no, I guess not. Alright, Daniel, can you please uh, tell me what to do with this? Chlorophyte. So I can turn it into chlorophyte bar. At the oh right. Uh, it's at the forge, not at the anvil. Okay. I'm just being silly. Okay, let's turn all of it, I assume. Got 45 bars. Not too bad. So what can I use this for? Okay, there are armor sets. So, how much better is it? 
Oh, it's actually a decent amount better than what I currently have. Increase maximum mana. Don't think it has a summon set, unfortunately. That's uh, that's too bad. But, uh... Wait. Oh, I did not even realize my set bonus for this thing. Double tap down, down ancient storm to the cursor location. Gotta try that. Okay, so I got the glorified pickaxe, uh, which has the same pickaxe power but one more range. Okay. The saber shoots a sport loud. The claymore, that's a lot of damage, shoots a powerful orb. Okay. A short bow, a warhammer, a jackhammer. Okay. I mean, the main thing I was uh, looking for was better armor, and I, I mean, if I want to go with a tank set again, I suppose I can make better armor, but I guess I can make a ranged armor as well out of it, seems decent. But I kind of want the, the summon set. This is just a mage set, increases mana and magic damage. Doesn't seem like we have a summon set though. Actually, let me go with Daniel. Uh, because maybe there is a summon set if I have something special. Oh, we have a true Excalibur. Interesting. So what's the difference? It seems about the same. I guess maybe it's used for something else. I don't know. Let me open the menu. Doesn't really seem like... Okay, what is this? Glorified extract Extractinator? Placing sealed slush fossil piles into the extractinator turns them into something more useful. Place contaminated blocks into the extractor to purify them. Other items placed inside may have interesting effects. Okay. I got a venom staff. Okay, so that's probably an upgrade. I might look it. Might, I might look into it, but actually no, this does more magic damage, never mind. This uh, bot, yeah, that one is very fast speed. It's just fast speed. Uh, we can make Spectre bars and Shroom my bars. Okay. Turtle scale mail. Yes, that seems very tanky. Interesting. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. What's the deal with the Shroom my bar? Oh, I just need glowing mushrooms. That can get arranged. Ectoplasm. I think I have one of those. Then we have... What the hell is this? A drill containment unit. Summons a rideable drill mount. Lumite bars. Okay, well, that's all crazy and good. Uh, but uh, we will leave it around for next time. For now, hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Until then.